Thank you again to anyone who has subscribed since the last uh, audio I put up. I want to do these at least every three days or so. Uh, maybe four, but, you know, three days on average is my hope for. I do, unfortunately, have a lot of other things i got to take care of, so I can't um, exactly upload every day or anything like that. Pro and I'd probably get bored of doing this if I, if I did it that often. But um, I just want to thank anyone who has subscribed, liked, and so on and so forth thus far. So anyway, touching. Touching is a uh, very common thing that occurs between human beings for a variety of reasons, from kissing to the hug to the handshake and so on. The touching of someone you care about, of someone you love, is something that everyone that has someone to do that with in any way, shape, or form, whether a friend or loved one or partner or child, uh, we all enjoy it. We all like certain aspects of it. Perhaps there's some of you out there that don't like it at all, in which case I'd like you to comment. But in general, most of us like some form of it to a variety of degrees. For some of us, such as myself, touching could also be a hellish landscape. Something that you're forced to participate in when you really fucking don't want to or feel you need to. But the situation often demands it. Like anyone else, when a poor person is forced to do something they are not particularly fond of, especially something as intimate as touching, it feels intrusive and it can make you feel rather angry and perplexed as to why you have to do it at all. Especially when you're dealing with, say, being schizoid or avoidant or some form of PD that um, doesn't require uh, any uh, intimacy or there's an aversion to intimacy. I'll give you a non-physical uh, touching example of something that is kind of like expected of you um, in almost like a traditional sense but it doesn't I mean it's not like there's it's not a law in the books it's just something that you're kind of socially expected to participate in when you do or go to something in association with that activity so the wave right fucking fucking hate the wave so say you decide to join someone to a sporting event i in particular am not big into the sports ball games mostly because um they require that sort of connectivity of like oh we're all in the same team we're all in we're all cheering on this that I, I one thing i do enjoy about sports is the individual um efforts being made by the people on the field and you know the strain of the effort the physical exertion the, the skill the prowess that they're showing yeah, that kind of stuff i respect completely but the um the actual team element the social element is pointless to me i, I don't i don't understand when people say uh we're gonna get you know we're gonna make it to the super bar we are we are we are we're as in reference to themselves as being part of that team um i get it um because it's been explained to me but i don't feel it so i don't participate in that but anyway the wave so you're sitting there quietly you're watching the, the sports ball game of your choice and um this often happens i think it's baseball more than anything and the people start you know, raising their hands, doing the wave. And my father, uh, when I was a kid, used to take me to Dodgers games all the time. It was just something he liked to do. I didn't mind too much because I did like the Dodger dogs. And um, and I did, I did find the sport itself, the actions of the sport itself and the scorekeeping and such, and the competitive nature of it interesting um, at the time. Not so much now, I'm not, not that into all that. 
But in any case, the one thing I did not like was the wave, because it was something that you were essentially being forced to participate in, that you did not understand why it was occurring, nor did you want to participate in. So oftentimes there'd be a beach ball, of course, bouncing around everywhere that would eventually be removed. I never understood why you would want to just pass a ball around between people and, you know, hitting it. There's no, there's no goal. There's no, the whole beach ball thing was just fucking stupid to me, but whatever. Some people do, but the wave would go across the stadium. So, you know, people would lift their hands and then they would create this illusion of a wave of hands going across, right? So meanwhile, I'm trying to enjoy the sporting events, you know, and so on, and this wave is going across, and, you know, uh, I would just get a nudge from my father or mother telling me, oh, here it comes, here it comes, and I'm thinking, here what comes? A bunch of people raising their hands for no fucking reason? Why do I have to do this? But nothing. Uh, here it comes and it'd be interrupting my enjoyment of the game itself and I would raise my hands and do the thing completely not understanding why I did it at all and then back down and I would ask my father why did we do that what was the point of that and I'd say oh it's fun no it's not and they're like well it, it's uh, you know it's something you do at a baseball game people would do the wave but why to cheer the team on. How does that help them? How does the wave make them play better or help them? If anything, it's a distraction. I don't understand. And if I tried to, you know, follow that kind of reasoning, I would just either be kind of ignored or be told, like, ah, it's just something people do. Ah, just get over it. And if I didn't want to do the wave, they would think that I'm not enjoying the game. So even if I was enjoying the game itself, um, I would be assumed I wasn't because I was not doing the beach ball thing or not doing the wave or or not participating in the, the jeering and the, the, the yelling of a charge and, the, uh, you know, the clapping or whatever it is that, you know, the, the social kind of in a, like action that was supposed to be taking place. If you didn't participate in it, it meant that you weren't enjoying the game. When in fact, uh, for someone like me, doing those things were detracting from my enjoyment of the game. Okay, so that was just an example of like something that people kind of expect you to do, and if you don't do it, it's either rude or they assume you're not having fun. As much fun as a schizo you can really have at some of these things but you know because you try to find what it is that you enjoy so at the time i was a kid i didn't know why i didn't like those things to really understand i just thought they were dumb and didn't make any sense to me um so and of course i just seemed strange to any friends and family uh, when when i didn't want to participate and or or felt just annoyed or complained about having to participate in it the worst form of this, and it just boils my fucking blood because it's just nothing, there's really not much you can do about it um, without causing some weird situation for the people around you or making things awkward, is uh, traditions during events that involve touching. So. Like, like the example I gave, some involve cheering, some involve clapping, some involve some kind of action that you're supposed to do. Um, but as long as that action isn't touching, it's tolerable. Uh, it's kind of, it just seems kind of dumb and annoying. Uh, sometimes it distracts you from what it is you're trying to enjoy or whatever. But whatever, you just kind of, just kind of do the thing, right? Um, but the touching stuff uh, is horrific because. You know, you're touching people that you don't care about, and it's like, why? Why you touch? I don't want to touch your hands. Um, an example of this from childhood would be, uh, well, I grew up Catholic, so um, 
I am no longer a Catholic, but we'll, we'll get into that another time. Um, and uh, there was a tradition in which uh, people would, uh, what would you call it, give peace to one another or show peace, a sign of peace. And what it would say, the, the priest or whatever would make his announcement of the, 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 the you know, religious tradition of showing peace. And then everyone would have to shake everyone's hand um, to the left and to the right of you and sometimes to in front and behind you. So you would just shake the hands of the people adjacent to you. And God, I fucking hated that. I hated that so fucking much. Because you, when you would get to, you know, you would have to go to church. Um, and I'm just giving you this as an example of something I did. I, I'd like to hear examples of stuff in which you had to deal with that made you really uncomfortable or angry or annoyed. Or whatever it makes you feel. If, if in fact, or or if what I'm saying doesn't make sense to you, you can ask me questions about it too in the comments. That's, that's fine. But... Yeah, so you would shake the hand of each individual person and you would, you know, nod your head or whatever. And so, you know, I already didn't like going to church much to begin with, even when I was a kid. It all A lot of that stuff was, again, it's all emotional, so it never made sense to me. I didn't feel guilty for my, you know, like these perceived sins. I didn't, I didn't feel this need to do any of this stuff that was very it was all very emotional the singing and the so on and so forth so it all just all of it was already just something i didn't want to take part in since i was a kid i was bored i, I wanted to play my video games i wanted to do something else i wanted to go read a book i just i didn't want to be there this is for an hour you know it's fucking boring as hell but uh, that was the one thing i dreaded the most was the handshake because i didn't want to touch people because why, why do i want to touch people i, I don't know these people i don't want to touch so, um, you know, every time I got there, I got to church or whatever, I would always be looking around to see where my parents were going to choose to sit. And uh, I was always, the oddly, the kid that was like, hey, let's get there. Come on, we got to go to church. Let's get there early. Like, it wasn't because I really wanted to go to church. It was because I wanted to hopefully get to pick a better spot to position myself in. Because if I'm going to be shaking someone's hand, um, I guess I, I want to be able to pick who it is or kind of like maybe position at least my sibling and one of my parents to the left and right of me so that I wouldn't have to shake more than two unfamiliar hands because then otherwise you'd be stuck with three uh, and so if I could reduce one of the unfamiliar hands I had to shake then it was cool it was, and then on top of that, like, depending on the person, you can kind of tell, like, oh, that person's going to have clammy hands, or that person's going to have weird hands, or, oh, that person's missing a hand, or that person's got, like, like old weird hands with long nails, like, you know, you just kind of get weirded out, grossed out, because you're just like, oh, fuck, who the fuck's hand am I going to touch? Like, I don't want to do this. And, um, and it wasn't even like a germ thing, you know, cause I wasn't a germaphobe. I wasn't, I wasn't afraid of the germs or something. And that's fine. If, if that's your thing, that's no disrespect, but that wasn't me. Um, I just didn't want to touch other people cause I didn't see the need to do it. And it felt weird cause you had to hold it and then you would feel the warmth of their hand. And then you're just like, Oh, why the fuck do I have to feel your fucking hand? And but, you know, whatever, you're a kid, you do what you did. And I didn't really understand what it was that I didn't get about the whole thing. Because I, I didn't understand why we had to do it to begin with. It didn't make any sense to me. Like, I'm like, why can't we just nod our head or something? Uh, I, and I understand now why people do it. And I get why other, you know, neurotypical people that are involved in such traditions that require handshakes or hugs, why they do it. Um, so that's fine. But... I still fucking hate doing it myself, so now I'm an adult, so I can make a choice, a better choice at least, if I, if I want to. But even then, there's some some traditions I can't avoid. Um, so yeah, you would get the old lady or whoever, and uh, and then when you got really unlucky, you would get that person with the really fucking sweaty, fucking dirty hands, or or you would get the guy that just got out of work, so he had like all this shit in his hands, like they look all blackened, like maybe he'd been working on them 
car or something. You don't know, but you don't know. Or somebody that had the really calloused hands and they were all rough and weird. And then some of the people would like hold on to your hand a lot longer than you'd like. And then some of them would squeeze more. Like they really dig in there. Just like, ah, oh, fuck you. Just get the fuck off me. And that's all I'm thinking. You know, it's all I'm feeling. And maybe I wasn't thinking it like that when I was a kid, but I was feeling like, no, 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 please. Just, ah, just end this. End this thing. Let's get back to the other boring shit that you wanted to fucking do. I'm, I'm getting the goddamn heebie jeebies just thinking about having to do that stuff. But anyway. So, as I got older, obviously, I, I was able to get away from the church and stuff, and uh, so I had to, I could avoid that, you know, social interaction entirely, which was cool. But, um, you know, as you get older, you start figuring out, like, oh, there's a bunch of other times where people expect you to touch them. That's cool. So, you go to an interview, and so you gotta talk to somebody about getting a job, and at the end of that interview, you gotta shake their hand why i don't know but you gotta shake it and if they were annoying or they were like there was somebody that you just didn't like but you got to know them a little because you know you have to do the whole interview thing i like the interviewers where they just ask the questions and they tell you bye and then you're just good that's like the best ever uh i can make myself like you said i like mask it up and make myself kind of charming and interesting or whatever to normies and that's how i often get a job but um, that part at the end sucks. You know, you have to shake their hand. That's like, what do, what do you do? What do you do? If you don't shake their hand, you're not getting a fucking job. They're going to think you're a fucking weirdo. They're gonna think... And it, part, of, part of what I don't like about it isn't so much like, oh, I don't want to touch someone else. Yeah, I mean, it is that. Part of that is definitely that. But it's the whole meat forced. You're being forced to do an action you don't want to do. It's very intrusive. Intimately intrusive. Because it's, it's that whole action of, like, you feel coerced into doing it and I know to other people you know that don't want to have PDs that are socially aversive or whatever they don't feel that maybe or they like the touch but ugh, I sure as fuck don't and you know as I got older you know this if you have a girlfriend or you know the person who eventually became my wife there's uh you know certain traditions in certain cultures too like um uh, there's traditions in which you, when you arrive at a party or some kind of a, a social event, if you're the boyfriend or the, you know, the guest or something, you have to go around shaking every motherfucking hand in the room. Why in the hell that's a thing? I do know, but I hate. <laughs> I hate. That is a fucking thing. Because you walk in the whole time thinking, like, ah, cool. Great, we're going to do the thing where you fucking touch everybody. Neat. And then occasionally you get that person that wants to hug, too. Like, they're like, ah, oh, hug. And you're just like, I don't want your fucking hug, but <laughs> hug. Yeah. Uh, stop, please. And then you touch, you know, you got the guys that want to show their machismo or their strong handshake so you gotta you gotta shake it strong back otherwise they think you're some pussy or something and you're just like i don't even want to fucking touch you but i guess i'll just squeeze hard so that you leave me alone or you don't make some stupid comment or joke about my lack of grip strength which i don't have a lack of i just don't want to touch you but you can't say that because then guess what oh her entire family is gonna hate you and they're all gonna think you're fucking weird and then she's gonna think you're weird, and oh, you're out a girlfriend, or you're out a um, you know possible, you know, wife or something, because you fucked up and didn't hug one of the family members or shake their hand. And you know, as as you as you know, you stay with the same person long enough, you get kind of more accustomed to having to do it, um, and so it became less and less, you know, of a uncomfortable feeling. Uh, having to say hello to everyone and shake everyone's hand and touch everybody and smell some people's breath when it wasn't very good and just, or have this little chit chats and oh god so much so much uh, over the years I've gotten significantly better at this because I have a better understanding of why all of this occurs I still don't like it but 
I understand now. And so uh, my tolerance level has increased significantly. But um, when I think back at when my tolerance levels weren't as good as they are now, I get these like flashbacks of just <laughs> frustration and just fucking rage because I'm just like, why, 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 why? And even as a kid, like I hated it amongst family members. You know, you go to your, you go to my father's family home, and then I'd have to go hug and all my cousins. I didn't give a fuck about any of these people. I didn't give a fuck about all my cousins. I still don't give a fuck about most of the, my cousins and things. I don't, I don't know them. Blood means shit to me, you know. So, um, in that sense, you know, it's all about the few people I can't connect to. But it's not because of the blood; it's just something else, something deeper. And um, yeah, you know, you'd go to other people's houses, and they all start hugging you and touching you. And grandma or grandpa would pat your head, and, uh, you know, do all kinds of dumb shit that required them to touch you and feel you. And it just all felt so goddamn intrusive. It felt so gross and icky. And fake, too, because then you had to be so fucking fake. You had to pretend you were enjoying the hugs. You had to pretend you were enjoying the handshakes. You had to smile in their goddamn face and look them straight in the fucking eyes while you did it, too. You're forced to lie. Meanwhile, you're just shivering inside or, you know, steaming up because you're just like, I want to do this. I want to be home. I want to be home. I want to be by myself. I want to read my books. I want to play my video games. I want to read my comic books. I want to listen to my music. I don't want to be here. Why the fuck am I here? Can I just be home with the one or two people or whatever that I like to be with? Why do I have to be around all the other people? So. Yeah. So. But, um, can you imagine how great it would be just to you know, be in a place and just go, oh, no, sir, I prefer not to shake your hand. Nothing personal. I just don't like touching people I don't know. Or don't care about. Whew, that'd be amazing, right? Or if you're, in a, you know, if somebody that's avoidant or some other type of issue, you know, just explaining, just explaining or handing them a card. You know, a la Joker style, saying why you don't want to touch them. And then they would just be reasonable and go, oh, that's fine. Nothing personal. Nah, it's not that simple, is it? Can't do that. Can't do that. They're always going to take it to heart. They're going to judge you. Or... They're gonna think you're judging them, which you might be if they their hands look gross. You don't want to touch them, or you're, they just they it's an insult or something because you're breaking tradition, or it's almost like a, a blasphemous act. It feels like it might have been if I didn't want to shake my hand the hands at church during that peace time or whatever it was. Uh, and that made you go on your knees and stand up and just, just felt like the hokey pokey man I don't I don't like that shit so yeah anyway tell me uh, about times you know in the comments below in which you know there was some kind of touching that you were not fond of uh, either growing up or even today something either at work you know even like when you graduate right you got to go hand shake hand shake hand shake hand shake congratulations congratulations you know when you win something hand shake hand shake touching touching hugs pats so on if any of you out there are not fans of this tell me why tell me your reasoning reasoning doesn't make you feel scared doesn't make you feel angry doesn't make you feel sad doesn't make you feel gross doesn't make you feel nauseous you know and um, if you feel positive things about doing these, these sort of this sort of stuff, tell me too. I'd like to read your uh, comments on why you do like hugs and handshakes from strangers and you know pats and pinches on the cheek from grandma, whatever. 
Um, and like I said, uh, it's not that I am completely averted to all such actions. I just don't want to do it with people that I don't want to do it with. I have a few select people that I enjoy a hug, a kiss, a handhold from. Those are the only people that I want to even get any of that from. You know? But anyway. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and you enjoy this bullshit I'm spewing. Um, like it, dislike it, whatever you want. Uh, but either way, subscribe and uh, tell me what you think. I want to keep this going. Enjoy kind of doing it. So that's about it.